This movie was so independent. We were like five in the morning in Washington Square, only just for the sole fact that we didn't want to get arrested or get pushed off of a park by a film because we didn't have a film permit. Um, this film is so indie. We were shooting it in my apartment uh, when I had four roommates living there at the same time. And my producer was holding a boom mic with one hand and cooking chi chicken teriyaki with the left hand. He's also a great cook. Great. Jeremy Trump. It's meant for this film uh, because the reality is that like, I've heard of this movie because of that nomination. Oh my god. <laughs> there are endless examples. I would say I have to do the ice box. Yeah. We had, it was so hot. We're in this tiny little house in Brooklyn in August. It's steaming and we there's no central air. So we would put all these air conditioners in this tiny little kids room and we called it the ice box. For the cast. And in between takes, literally the cast would like run in there, like <laughs> cool and down. And the window panes would like freeze. So they would there fog would, up. Yeah. It was it was it was a lot. The heat, yeah. The heat and the food, lot. the prop food was the it was, was stale. A lot of the same from the beginning. So we, we, we ate a bagel on day one, day sixteen you might be eating the that same, same bagel. bagel. And that is what we went through. <laughs> oh man, I almost threw up on a roller coaster, but it was a good thing. And I don't think that would have been a good thing on another show. Why was so. it a good thing? Well, and that, he told me, I hope you drink something that's a pretty color, because if you throw up, that could look really cool. And it's just all those happy accidents and all those bloopers that you can keep in the movie that I think that happens a lot with indies, so that's beautiful. Oh, God, where do I start? I mean, like, we shot it in my family's Christian bookstore in the Bronx, and the only day that my family would let us shoot was Sunday because they're at church, and so and so the store was closed, so we, would, we had to do all of our shoot days on a Sunday. Now, that unfortunately conflicted with the Mexican restaurant next door, which loves to blast music while their patrons are eating, specifically on Sundays. So our producers, <laughs> one of their main jobs was going back and forth with a translator to the Mexican restaurant, trying to get them to turn the music down when we were about to do a take, knocking it out quickly. Then, you know, I mean, it's the bootstrapping, the stories are endless. <laughs> I mean, there were a litany of things. I think one is that um, there was a limit to how many car rides we could have in the script, which was a crazy thing to think about. Because I was like, it takes place in a car. And Jenix had to be like, but Jeremy, we're making a movie for a very finite amount of resources, with a very finite amount of resources. So we had to figure out how to utilize those well. And that was one of the big examples for me on my end of how I saw it. But you saw a lot more in Florida that I didn't see. Yeah, I got to shoot in Florida, so <laughs> there was a lot. I, we don't have enough time for we don't, we'll, we'll have to do a podcast on this. Just that. Just this question.